let's use this graph below and gather some information about it. So we want to know f of 2 and f of x equals 4. So it's important to remember that when we define these, we always think y equals f of x. So x is going to be our input value, and that's going to go on the horizontal axis, and y or f of x is going to be our vertical axis going on here. So when we're trying to evaluate f of 2 in part A, you're going to think to yourself that 2 is that an x value or a y value. As you can see, that 2 is inside the set of parentheses, and it's replacing the x in the f of x. So that's going to be an x value of 2. So what we want to do is go along our x-axis until we get out to an x value of 2, find the associated point on the graph. So we're looking right up here on our graph. And then go with what's the y value that gets associated with that x value. So as you can see, if we kind of look over onto the y axis, we get a 1 in this case as being our y value associated. Now on part b, it's a little bit different. We have f of x equals 4. And since y is the same thing as f of x, we're thinking that means a y value of 4. It's not inside the set of parentheses like the part a was. So what we want to do is go on the y-axis up to a y value of 4. Now, that can produce a horizontal line going across here. And you'll notice that that intersects the graph in more than one place. So it looks like we have two points on the graph that are both going to have a y value of 4. In our case, I think we can say those are the ordered pairs negative 1, 4 and positive 3, 4 as ordered pairs. So your solution on part B would be our X values are going to be negative one and positive three. So there'd be two solutions for part B. Not always two solutions, but in this case, there were. All right, hope this helps out. Just be very careful about is it an X value or a Y 